What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy, and welcome to Ultimate General Civil War. We are about to start our American Civil War campaign, playing as the Union. And to be honest, I'm not too familiar with this war. I mean, as a Canadian, we're not really taught in depth about this time period, so this will be something new and really interesting for me to learn. Um, my kind of specialty is World War II, 1930 to 1950, that sort of time period, so I'm really excited to jump in here and get started. Uh, I do have to apologize for yesterday's episode. I had to take it down. It got copyright striked for a little chunk of music that was right in the middle of the episode. I tried to fix it in YouTube and it just didn't work. So I have to re-record and re-upload this first mission. And the next, I, I have five missions already recorded. So instead of redoing all of them, I'm just going to redo this one and continue on. So the casualties might be a little bit different on tomorrow's episode, but we're going to pick everything the same and we're going to do everything the same that we did in the first the first time we uploaded this, but tomorrow just the casualties might be a little bit different. So we're going to continue on here and before I do, we're going to be turning down the music so it doesn't get copyright strike another copyright strike. Uh the rest of the series doesn't have any music in it either. So we're going to start this up. We're going to skip the voiceover as well. So, in the beginning, you have always dreamed of becoming a military officer like your father. You feel it is your destiny to serve your nation, earning glory with honor on the battlefield. So, we're going to pick all the same things that we did yesterday. So, a strategist, and artillery, and politics. And we're going to be playing as the Union, of course. Depending on how this series goes, depending on how well this series does, we're definitely going to be doing a Union side. Brigadier General... So here's our stats. This veteran cost is going to help us later on down the line. Ammo, recruiting, all that good stuff. I would like to have a bit more economy and training, but this is what we're gonna. This is what we're gonna do. So we do have to put our name in. Oops. If I can uh, get my head around how to spell my own name. Okay, let's begin. So, General, our main objective is to secure the small town and its railroad station. According to our scouts, the garrison should not exceed 3,000 soldiers. We must capture the town before rebel reinforcements arrive via railroad. It's advised to use your vanguard to clear the town's perimeter of, uh, from skirmishers or other threats. The rest of your forces are en route and will arrive from the southwest. Assault the town when all your forces are present. All right, so we're going to clear out this forest. And Zook, Impact, you're going to come over this way. Yeah, so I do apologize for people who were actually watching the video yesterday and then it just disappeared. I had to take the video down because it was getting copyright. Uh, it had a copyright strike on it for that the music during that one cutscene. So it's not ideal. And I have like five episodes recorded on this series, so instead of recording all five, I'm just I'm just gonna record this first one, and then um, the rest of them will be from the. I turned down the music for the second one, so everything should be fine, and we can continue on. It's just the first mission; not much is gonna change, uh, considering the first and second mission. Our numbers might be a little different when it comes to casualties, but that's about it. I'm gonna play this pretty much the same as I did before. Okay, let's hold. Looks like they want to come in for a charge. That's an interesting tactic. We can charge back. Yeah, I want to get Zook into the forest. And we're going to do a volley while these guys are retreating. These guys are falling back into the woods. Let's keep up with them. Right, we have 85% cover here. We need to get rid of... By, uh, barns over there. Where did these guys go? Ok, 
Yeah, we found him. Okay, hold. They're gonna still be reloading, so we might be able to get a volley off here once our men fall in line. These guys are holding on. Looks like we're a little shy of our range. Okay, they're starting to route now. Let's continue to move up. What kind of cover do we have? Yeah, it's not great. Alright, here comes the rest of our force. Reinforcements has arrived. Uh, head to the town. Let's get the cavalry up. And we'll get Loomis and Walton over here. Let me getting our cannons on this wall. Or on this hill. And speaking of cannons, let's get them up there. I'm gonna bring Stockton to his flank. We can just charge them now if they're just gonna stand there. There should be more infantry up here. They might have swung around. They're probably in this area. Yeah, they're actually retreating. Okay, just fire on them. See if our cavalry can do anything out here. They're pretty withered. We know there's more over here. Where the where are they? Actually want Walton here and Loomis can yeah, he can still continue to come up on top of that hill. See if you can harass, harass them before they head back into the town. All right. They want to chase our cavalry. I, I mean, I'm not against that. Yeah, they don't want to chase our cavalry now that they see our skirmishers coming in. These guys run faster than our cavalry, these skirmishers. Not sure where they're running to. Alright, so they formed up, so we're just going to stay here. So our cannon's looking. Could start firing. Alright, so we've surrounded the town. We're going to get impact up here to help the infantry assault the town. I don't like these guys just sitting here. They could. Oh, they got a shot in our rear. Great. Okay. Let's move the infantry up. Cannons aren't going to do much to this village. See if we can surround the village as best we can. I don't 
don't want to get the general too close. I can't believe those skirmishers are still... haven't retreated yet, or routed. Nah, uh, just stay there. The only way across the river is these two bridges. So we're gonna have to just... Well, we need to take this town before we move up. He was killed in action. really don't want to assault the town. And they should fall back soon. At least their cannons are focused on our skirmishers, which I'm happy with. Okay, here we go. They finally fled. Looks like they're coming out of the town. Can sort of squeeze them in a little bit. And let's start getting our cavalry moving over here. Or sorry, not our cavalry, our cannons. Casualties are we putting on with these volleys? Not too bad. Would like to get more on his side. Looks like he's going to charge. Wow. Gutsy move. It's fine. Make sure Zuck is in the general's influence. Okay, that did take some pretty good casualties there. Still got 461 of his men, though. So he's still pretty strong. Yeah, we took a, took a couple hundred men off him. Let's get you guys covering the north flank. Actually, Zook, why don't you take this? Walton and Loomis, you cover the north flank for now. And we're just still waiting for our cannons to show up. Um, we need to, I want to get my cavalry in these woods. Maybe we can get some scouting happening. You guys are 100% covered. That's what I want to see, because we're going to be taking artillery fire for a little bit until we can sort of weaken their forces. What are you guys? 97. You guys are 100. Okay, good. I think Zuck is going to be the one taking all the artillery fire. Which is why... Yeah, I put him there because he has the lowest numbers. I wonder if I put my skirmishers in here. And pull these guys back. And we'll run them so we try not to take artillery to the to the back. I don't know if they're gonna shoot at my skirmishers or not, or if they're gonna focus on these guys. Okay, you're in a hundred. Yeah, we need our cannons firing on McHenry, because it looks, sounds like he's coming in for a charge. Move, move. 
Or not, maybe not. Looks like he changed his mind. I still want to pull these guys up a little bit. So I want to try and get canister shot. Yeah, McHenry's coming back over. Wants to try and retake the town. Let's get Loomis into position. These guys should rout. They're not going to sit on that bridge and take this kind of fire. Crossing that bridge is just suicide. Your men just clump up and they take forever to get across. Oh man. Yeah, they're routing. Are they routing on this side of the bridge? Because if we can capture them, that would be... That would be good. Oh man. Brutal. He lost significant forces now. Retreat! Retreat! Canister shot is just devastating. Alright, let's go after Law now. Pull these guys up just a bit more. Where's our cavalry? Over here. How are you guys for ammunition? You could... You could use some. Cannons are a little too close. Let's supply these men before we move up. And I actually need to pull them back a little bit. We got a little too greedy there. We are in a time limit, so we can't just sit behind the, this bridge forever. You guys getting supply yet? You should be in... Okay, we're getting supply again. It's good. Here comes the charge, but from who? I think Law's coming in. Schaefer out. And Loomis is going to take his position. Actually run. Get into position quickly. So they started off with 544. you guys to fire on them while they're weak, while they're retreating. No, we don't want to charge, we just want to shoot. Okay, so that's over a hundred men they lost. But they're retreating towards Rook and I, I don't want to get too close. So they lost over a hundred men. You can 
continue to fire on Rook if you want. Where's our cavalry? Let's get them over here and do a little bit of a scouting mission. Let's see what we're dealing with. Hopefully there's not somebody like hiding right in this house, ready to shoot us in the face as we go over the bridge. Looks like we're clear. McHenry is over there. Let's shoot him. He's in the open, the looks of it. There's really a no... There's nobody at this side of the bridge fortifying. I think this is our opportunity here. Need to get our forces up here, and then we're going to move across. There's their cannons. Just got a peek of them. Okay, so everybody's running. That's what we need. Get everyone across. Looks like Law is coming back. Okay, stop the cavalry. Need to get into these houses. Gonna be tired after this run. Let's get the skirmishers up as well. Actually, let's keep the skirmishers back here to cover our flank. Alright, so Loomis is in 90% cover. That's good. Walton's moving. I want him firing on McHenry. And let's get Zook on the flank. And artillery you can be firing on law, that's fine. And I want my general helping the infantry here. Henry's already weakened from us attacking the town before. Actually, no, just attack Byron's barns there. Get inside this house. We're going to bring Zook over to attack this artillery. I don't know where the rest of their forces are. They should have more than this. Okay, the artillery is moving. They're retreating. Yeah, I don't want to run them anymore. I don't want them to be totally exhausted. Let's keep attacking those cannons. Or they're able to turn around and reload. Yeah, that's good. Can I capture these cannons? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so the objective is secure. We've captured the town. I mean, I would love to capture these cannons if I can. Aren't you attacking Root? Let's get inside the town a little bit more.
All right, so I think their cannons are done for. I think they're retreating somewhere in this area. No, oh, they're back. And we got another charge coming in. We should be able to fort that pretty quickly. Okay, it looks like they're going to be guarding their cannons. So let's just pull the cavalry back so they don't get unnecessary casualties. Zook is exhausted. Let's pull Zook back. Just because he is so tired. And Walton... So I want... Yeah, start firing on Root. You can protect the northern flank. Okay, it's over. Well, phase one is over. The town is secure, but the rebels are determined to retake it. We have prepared some entrenchments to stop their assault. Multiple enemy regiments approach from these roads. The most serious threat is an armored train coming down the rails. Without cannon, we will have great difficulty neutralizing it. The good news is that we got reinforcements on route, which includes strong artillery batteries. They should arrive in an, about an hour. It's going to be a hard fight, General. Ready to receive your orders. All right, so I've seen a few different strategies with this. For me, I'm going to actually get my men in the town. I want our skirmishers kind of on fallback. And our cannons back here, as well with supply and the general. And the cavalry can hide over here for now. They're going to be a diversionary force. Five thousand supply there. Now, it's taken me... I think that's one of the reasons why I had such a hard time picking this game up. And I've had it in my library for such a long time without playing it. Because I, I have played this mission... I don't even know how many times, but I just could not beat it. I don't know what I was doing wrong. It's just the waves of enemies that come in on this mission. is We were just outnumbered by like 4 to 1. And I could just not wrap my head around on how to beat it. So I just got turned off from the game. And we don't want anyone running. But since I've gotten back into it, I, I have obviously completed this mission uh, twice now. And I'm not it's still a difficult mission, that's for sure. Yeah, everyone's everyone's got a hundred percent resistance, so we're in a good spot here. Yeah. Okay, I want to get my cavalry on Wheeler. Don't charge, just just waltz. Yeah, that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to be a distraction. Pull Wheeler off the line. And we're going to take a shot here going into the woods. It's not advantageous advantageous for us to be in these woods. We should be in the open ground. Yeah. Now we took a few casualties, not too much. Main reason, f main objective for our cavalry is just to get Wheeler away from the line. We need to buy time. Okay, here we go. Continue to come down that way. And I want these guys running. 
Yes, they're going to be tired when they get here. Okay, so we still have 90%, 97% conditioning. So these guys are still good to go. Here comes the rail train. Or the uh, armor train, I should say. There's Wheeler. Let's attack him. I don't want them running. Just, uh... Okay, they're turning. We should be able to get a shot off. Yep. Good. Don't know where the rest of their forces are. They're coming, though. Just surprised they're not hitting our lines yet. Not sure where they are. Okay, they turned around. Oh, they got cannon shooting at our horses now. There's Nelson. Yeah, that's not good. I was trying to squeeze through these guys. We need to get out of there. Our cavalry did their job, though. Let's pull them back this way. I'm going to take heavy losses on that. But it's just unavoidable. Now let's start attacking that train. get my other infantry in here. I don't want you going there. I want you coming up here. Okay, there's Wheeler again. We don't want to attack him yet. He's falling back. He's a little timid of our horses. Okay, let's get all the artillery firing on that. Okay, good. Our general is... is giving our cannons a boost. Let's walk them now, even though they're <laughs> they're already exhausted. Let's get you guys attacking. Wheeler might be showing us his rear right now over here. Keep firing on the cannon. I don't seem to be interested in charging our lines. There's Wheeler. Okay, we'll just keep him guessing. Let's pull these guys back so they're out of the way. And we're going to attack Wheeler, now that he's coming up close. Okay, here comes the charge. Now, let's get these cannons firing on the infantry and these two can continue to fire on the train. What are we dealing with over here? Getting flanked.
Let's see if we can shoot this cavalry. Looks like we got a charge coming in. Need to get rid of this train. We're outnumbered with this cavalry. Now we're blocked with him. Looks like Perrin is retreating. Got a big chunk of men coming in. Dry land, marina. This is taking damage. Grant just took heavy losses on that volley. I want to focus all of our cannon fire on the marina right now. Locked. Yeah, the train is leaving. It's going to put Walton in the fortifications just to free up some space. I think Walton's uh, routing. They still have their leader. Skirmishers are going to cover their their uh, retreat. Shoot him. What are you doing? Let's just pull them back. We're taking heavy losses. Just stay there. They're coming in for an attack. I'm gonna put them on this wall. And run them as much as I can. But our skirmishers are even still holding. Decent concentration of men over here. And I'm not sure if we're out of range for these skirmishers. I think we are, because we're not... But we are firing back. these cannons up as much as we can on that riverbank. Blocked. 
What are you blocked from? There we go. Just run away, Schaefer. <laughs> run. Run for your goddamn life. Yeah, Nelson's getting wrecked up here. Scales wants to come in for a charge. I would like to hit these guys. But I think they want to attack Scales because they're the stronger unit. Pull up here and come around Scales a little bit. There is cavalry over here. Oh no, that's skirmishers. Wow, they move quickly. Perrin's coming back. Let's get a cannon focused on him. The rest can stick on Grant. I want to make sure we get these supplies before the mission ends. Schaefer's holding his own here. Just hold there. You're doing fine. These two, these two cannons can stay on Perrin. This is quite the cluster of men over here. We got cannons firing on us. Haven't seen those for a while. Let's see if we can get Zook up here. He might get blocked or he might block someone else. They're in decent position there. Schaefer's starting to take some casualties. Let's pull him back. Let's just retreat him. Okay, so we held the town. Timer's up. And we're going to finish this just so we don't take any more casualties than we need to. All right, so we got, oh, pretty much three to one. That's good. A little bit more. And yeah, they outnumbered us as well. They were only supposed to have 3,000 infantry or 30. How much was that the message say at the beginning? I think it was 3,000. Good. Okay. So we got that metal, we got the money and everything. So on the next episode, when we come back, things are going to be a little different when we load up. But uh, after the second episode, it's just going to run through the series because I had to, like I said, I had to re-record this episode due to it being copyright striked for like, it was literally just that like 10, 15 seconds of music that is in the game. So it, it's kind of upsetting that that happened, but uh, it is what it is. So we're going to continue on the next episode. If you guys want to join me on that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.